when it came time to decide songs, we had like 420 some songs. Do you think that with Hillstorm, that you take part in this process in, in a way? I I hope so. I mean, we write I, our music can be hard and heavy, but I mean, Lizzie's a an amazing singer, you know, and and it would be a waste not to. I mean, when, and she's a, she loves pop music too, and we have some pop songs on our first album, you know, so. I don't see why not. I mean, it'd be it'd be fun on this next record we're getting ready to make to make it more poppy, but also heavier, you know, and try to break into that break whatever that mold is, you know. I don't know. Yeah, because you came in. Yeah, later you joined as a part of two of you. Did you have to open them up a little bit to this, or was this already there? This open mind in uh, we, towards it. We opened each other up because I was I came in there. I was in a real heavy like Beatles and Jeff Buckley phase <laughs> when I joined the band and, and Lizzie and RJ were really in the seven dust and disturbed at the time and, and it was kind of a uh, you know I think it was it was a good it was a good no, it wasn't a it wasn't a clash it was more of a uh, you know we came together with our interests and they understood why I liked what I was listening to at the time and I got what they were going for and I think it was it's a good um I think we found a good meeting point and and it's, uh, I you know, I've never felt like anything they listened to or did was less than, you know, it wasn't like a snob point of view musically listening. I, it, it, you know, they max, I've been maxed out creatively. For it's, I've had to keep pushing myself further and further, you know, and that's all you can ask for, really. I, I read in an interview today, actually, that I think you, you mentioned Jeff Buckley, that, that he's an influence maybe also yeah. in your play, and you might even want to incorporate. Did this already happen, or is it... Like, I mean, it's it's always there. The um, when, we, when we made our first record, I wasn't sure. You know, I'd never done it before personally, and my experience was that I didn't. You know, I wouldn't. I wasn't committing to any parts until we were in the studio, and I was recording. And all of a sudden, oh, oh I got to write like five more parts to fill this out. All right, let's just do it. And and whatever I came up with, which is mostly the solos and any of the guitar candy on top, it was kind of spur of the moment and, you know, just the music in your head to just, whatever comes out, comes out. And it all, all the Jeff Buckley I've listened to, the Beatles, you know, anything I've listened to is just swirled around up there. And what, what comes out is some absurd bastard, you know, of all that music. Because how is, how does your writing process generally go? Do you each sit in your homes or wherever you are? And practice or play some stuff and you bring it together or well, sometimes actually, yeah the, is there a way that you usually do it or the writing process it, there's so many ways I mean there's there is no one right way for anybody I don't think and maybe some people find their way that works best for them but so far we all I mean we all write individually we all write together Lizzie Lizzie has gone off and written with other people we as a band have written with other people um, but for other bands or for this band? For people? for this band usually, but the but I mean we had for the first record when it came time to decide songs we had like four hundred and twenty some songs to choose from. I mean there's a ton, That's and I think uh, I think some of the songs that Lizzie and and we worked on for the first record have been used by if they haven't been used by other bands they were going to be used, but they're out there, and if we're not going to use them and somebody else wants them, they can have, you know, it's like, yeah, go ahead, we're not using them. <laughs> but 400 songs is like, can maybe last for a lifespan career if you would all put them out. But what, where are you, what I mean is, what are you actually looking for then for, for a song at the moment that you think now it's the right time to make it? or? Oh, yeah, like right now, our whole goal on the next, I mean, after this tour, we start writing, you know, and. We have one more tour planned in the U.S. I think in the spring to try out some new songs before we hit the studio. But uh, we're going in writing, and our mission statement right now has just kind of been to make it heavier, but let's make it more melodic too. You know, um, I feel like with our first record, we kind of it was kind of uh, putting a feel feelers out there. See, you know, we we hadn't totally on record found ourselves, and and I don't know if you know we just what. Our full vision of what we do live and everything wasn't perfectly represented on that record. It was a good try, and the record sounds great, you know. And it's not the—I'm not slagging the record. I just I think that uh, as in terms of Hailstorm and this, you know, the studio session of Hailstorm could, could evolve, and that's what we're trying to do is just make it bring it closer to the energy of our live show, you know. 
Okay. Because is that for you? Is is it? It were too much two separate things. Then at some point, you think, no? or with the live show in yeah, the studio? Is it is it maturing now? Maybe in a way that you. Oh, totally. I mean, the, the, we we've always been a live band. That's that's what we got signed. I mean, we, we've done probably close to what fifteen hundred shows as as band Hailstorm. Maybe more. I mean, there's just been so many. That's what we do, you know. And we we do it well, and that's what we got signed off of. And that we, you know, that was eight years of playing live before. It was ten years before we even released our record um, of playing live, and so in the studio we're still, you know, we're still learning a lot, and and um, so much room to grow, you know. And I, th I we're learning a lot every. We, we start. We have our own little studio now, so we're getting more experience with just that whole mindset. And every time we go in the studio, we learn new techniques and new things. So, but do you see that maybe next or, in the, yeah, the near future that you will. Shut down the live playing a little bit to focus on this more, or how do you see that? Oh, I mean, yeah, we're taking a few months off of shows just to focus on writing the record, you know, which, which is good. It's 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 tough to write on the road, write out on the road. So many distractions, and it's hard to just sit in one place and focus. Where once you get home, got a little corner and just go in there and you do it, you know. And but um, yeah, I mean, we're gonna take time off and try to do it right, you know. Thank you for your time. Ah, no, no problem. Thank you.